that was awesome. <laughs> Hey, Jason, uh, real quick, um, I actually started watching, the first time I started watching was your first episode, actually, so thank you for making me spend a lot of money. I <laughs> watch <laughs> classes and um, try and fail at a kick. So I have to ask, you have this kick, this really awesome spinning back kick, the Tresendo kick? Yeah. Can you break that down and at least tell us how you did it so we don't try and fall in our <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, it's funny, I went to uh, Ernie Race's uh, school out there, or Black Belt, uh, Black Belt Camp Testing or whatever, and some guys came up, some younger kids came up, well they're not younger, they're older now, but they're like, man, you were like the OG of that kick, you know? Because it's a crescent kick, but I don't like recoil my leg like a crescent kick, and it's not a hook, because you don't turn your, your hip over like a hook, it's just like kind of a, a pretty little, you know? <laughs> and in that episode where the, uh, where the pumpkin patch episode where I was like, bang, 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 bang. I was only 150 pounds. Bang, bang. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, I did like seven or eight of them. So to break it down, look, you just got to do it, dude. Don't worry about getting hurt, just do it. I'm going to be jumping, not fall, though. Just film, and then we'll edit it when you fall. Play all the rest of the show, and we'll make music videos. Like, Feel that guy's so good? That's <laughs> not the rest. Favorite martial artist? Favorite martial artist? Yeah. Um, I mean, I like Bruce Lee, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but people are like, well, I mean, if, 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 what happens if you and Bruce Lee got into a fight? I'd be like, well, I just kicked his bones, he's dead. What are you <laughs> it's a, well, I mean, like, for real, I'm, Bruce Lee would be old right now. And it's like, what if? What if your aunt was your uncle? All right. <laughs> Um, like, everyone says thank you for coming to Hot Thank you. Oh, I'm Jason, I don't know why you're so fucked on, but... That's right. Um, if you want it, you can call the letter. Just back in. I have, uh, two quick questions. One of them is, which of the four colors was your favorite? And, um, do you think, if putty is real, do you think you can beat him up by yourself? You know, and, and you know, what do you do when an actor says, I, you know, I don't feel like coming to work tomorrow? 
you know. And then, and so the reason why, when I left the show, this is the truth. I went and asked, I, I don't want to do the show no more. That's why I gave my PowerPoint up like that. TJ, so here you go, you know, take the point. But he said, if, if I was going to leave, then he's going to fire everybody. So he put that on my shoulders. So, you know, he's like, you need to tell all your friends. And so I remember going in and saying, look, I'm leaving the show. I don't know what's going to happen to you guys. That's why the whole cast got changed. Then if you notice, they, they kept the cast a little longer than 40 episodes. Then they switched to every season. So by the time kids get used to that person, he's gone. And then at the same time, it's a business move. You can get cheaper people. There's some guy behind you that's willing to do this job for nothing. So you do 40 episodes, they'll get the guy behind you, and they just keep changing it. So no one has any kind of power. It's a whole business thing. It, it, you know, it's not, I didn't, I didn't get fired from the show, I left the show. You know, and the reason why I left is there wasn't a lot of pats, pats on the back. There, you know, like going around saying, hey, you guys doing a good job. And that's yeah. what I told him he needs to do for his company. He needs to pat people on the back. I know I have a staff. I used to drill my staff hard, and I never got good results out of it. But the minute I start patting them on the back, even, you know, they need to be good, even though they're not. <laughs> they do better. Not you, Randy. <laughs> Randy runs the California school now. I've been gone for how long from that school? Like five and a half years? Four. four, five, four. Five. So if you need to, you know, rise of some karate up there, you know, some love. Rise of some karate in Valencia, and go see Randy work and set you up on the program. Learn some power in your karate. <laughs> Real stuff. What was that? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm Chris. Uh, it's not really a question, it's more of a statement and a request afterwards. The statement is that, uh, well not too long ago, you read a script that I wrote called Warlock's Magic, the movie, Night of the Prankster. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you said you liked it. Uh, the character's named Jason Warlock, out of coincidence. Just coincidence. And uh, I, I just came here for you to say, but the only reason I came here to tell you that I thought the one who wrote the script that you liked. And uh, the other thing is, I'd like to give you a business card, if I may. Yeah. Talk about plugging this guy over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, that was, that might have been here. Uh, and uh, the Green of the Evil uh, miniseries, uh, mini don't you wish it was you that was giant uh, fighting a Megazord instead of stock footage? Um, what part? Yeah, but, uh, part uh, part he couldn't think of Megazord, when they all made a long Part four. You go instead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think of the, uh, no, I'm not too sure. And, yeah, uh, so so yeah, yeah. I, I guess who wouldn't want to be that tall? I guess. <laughs> Step on people. <laughs> 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 but thank you very yeah, much. Thank you, but I appreciate it. By the way, this is wicked cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I want to reiterate the thank yous for coming and thank you so much for being such a um, significant and positive in, uh, influence on our lives, especially our childhood. It's, an, it's a really important part of our lives, so thank you. Um, also, no, I have to write it down. Hey, I'll talk to you. I think we can. See, I remember I have a good memory. <laughs> Karen, I just want to thank you. I know, I know. I was talking to both of the Yellow Rangers. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Jason. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you mind sharing any significant disadvantages to your celebrity status, if any come to mind. Um, no, when I'm running from the cops. Uh, <laughs> no, no you know, honestly, I, well, yeah, I actually do have one. Okay? I've never turned an autograph away, like, ever turned an autograph down, except the guy from Ranger Board. But that's a different story. <laughs> he's the one that slammed Tommy's character. He's in the line. He's like, I've got all these to, to sign. And I was like, oh, really? Uh, are you the guy from Ranger Board? So he's like, yeah, I always sign your character. And I'm like, I ain't signing your toys. He's like, well, how come, man? So I signed him. You should have told me after I signed him that you slammed my character. <laughs> Let me get back to some time. Like, oh, no. <laughs> so, when I was, uh, is that you? Is that you? I didn't sign him, did I? See? <laughs> you don't know I didn't sign him. But, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're still here. He did say, he did make a point, though. 
He said, it's not you, it's the character. You know, so, that's the point. But I am the character, so whatever. <laughs> the disadvantage, the disadvantage. <laughs> the disadvantage of being of like, you know, being a celebrity or so-called or whatever was, I never turned an autograph down. But you know, my brother got in an accident, you know, because I lost my brother and stuff. But when my brother got in an accident, my best friend at that time, Mike, lost his arm. They, they were in a, you know, bad car accident. My brother has a hole in his back. And, uh, you know, my best friend, Mike Casamassa, lost his arm. So he's in the hospital respirator. He might not make it. They're talking about my brother not making it. I was pretty devastated, you know. So the doctor comes out, and when I lost my brother, the doctor came out and told me, hey, sit down, and I hate that kind of news. I don't like the doctor coming out when you got someone dying over here and over here. So the doctor comes in the room and says, hey, do you have a second? I'm like, oh, God, you know, bad news. He's like, my kids really love your show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry this. And I remember signing the autograph. I was, no, I was, uh, yeah, so I cried. I was trying. My brother was in the other room. I remember signing the autograph. And I remember like tears dropping on the thing, and I was thinking, this sucks, you know, because what I want to say is, no, I ain't signing nothing, you know, but I signed it for him, and then the nurse came and said, oh, can I get one? Oh, and I was, oh and I, no! I signed it for her, but the worst part was, when she walked down that hallway, she turned around, she was like, well, who are you anyway? Because I said, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, he was getting an autograph from someone famous, so, and it's just like, she didn't even know. They had like no, like, they don't, they didn't care about, about your situation at all. You know, they, and, and I understand because you do anything for your kids. Like if Dora was here, I'd like capture her and take her back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but I understand, I guess, like, you know, you have to kidnap us or whatever. We'll do anything for our kids, but there's a proper time to do it. You know, and, and, and maybe eating dinner and you, you're so hungry and you're taking a bite of it, you know, and you're like, and the guy's like, I'm really sorry to bother you. And you're like, oh, it's okay. And just say hi. Well, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you sign this? Like, you're not really sorry to bother me. I'll do it. Just let me have a piece of steak and then I'm not signing. But um, it's just I think the proper time, and I don't get that a lot, you know. And when I do, I'm really nice. Uh, yeah, see the pictures. Where are those guys I met just in the fight? Are they in here? They are okay. Well, I got meet them and tell them to come in and give them passes, and you know, I, mean, I try to I try to make fans happy. I never really try to, you know, be arrogant or anything like that. The people that don't like me. I don't like them either. So, <laughs> you know, I like you or you don't like me. And either I get along with the cast members or I don't get along with the cast members. And someone asked me the other day the question when I'm up here is like, who, you know, what's your favorite season? I'm like, God, I got like Karen over here, and if you know, I got all these different, I got Walter over here. I don't want to say the wrong thing and hurt anyone's feelings, but the bottom line is when you start with an original cast and you become friends with everyone and then they leave, it's kind of like, then you're friends with this person, then they leave, and you're like, then you don't even want to get close to anyone because you don't know who's leaving. You know? So they used to, and Power Rangers, I don't know, I don't know if you guys remember, you probably don't, but there was a guy in red, like a Hispanic guy, that worked at Juice Bar. Yeah. Okay. They put him on just just to be like, he's on standby. He's gonna be a standby ranger if y'all don't straighten up. Ooh, okay. So they would have people on the show saying you could be a ranger play your cards right. These guys act up and it's like, that didn't happen. You know, but they would do that stuff and it just misses your head up. Not me, because if you remember what color he was wearing, <laughs> red, not me. I, you can see no one was standing around in green and white and all the other colors. <laughs> I had no standbys, but still, I just missing with the cast head, you know, and, and, and it, just, it just was hard to, you know, I don't know. So what I like is the first season of Power Rangers because, you know, they were all my friends and, Working with Tweet. The funny thing, not a funny thing about Tweet, the hard thing about her was, and I don't, I don't say this because she passed away and stuff, but I didn't say it on the other panel, is when she left the show, the weirdest thing I've ever encountered was going to a sushi bar in Beverly Hills with my agent. And we were trying to celebrate this new show that I was trying to do. And the person came up and asked me if I wanted something to drink, and it was Tweet. She worked at that restaurant. So Whoa. it was hard for me to like ask for anything because she used to be my you know, teammate, and now she's serving me sushi at a sushi restaurant. That was hard, you know, so I told her, no, no, I don't want nothing to sit down, and we talked a little bit and stuff like that, but you know, like I said, it happens, either you're an actor or you're working in a restaurant to try to make the bills, because LA is really expensive to live, you know. I know that's not your question, but I have my all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I talk a lot, and I hope well, I answered you. all your questions. <laughs> thanks for being personal. Thank I mean, the fans appreciate that. It's, Anytime. Yeah, thank Anytime. you. Thank you.